Velvet blue. Another velvet blue in spite of being indoors. Alright, bottom floor. Here we go. Uh, I think we want to start on the right, because I seem to recall the left is the way to go. Oh, woe is me. I dropped my keys into the toilet. You mean like your car keys? Or house keys? Maybe the key to your heart? It was my... my... Oh, it's been so long I don't actually remember. Amnesia is punishable by death. Die, guys, die. Party victorious, woohoo. Okay. One gold, nothing in the toilet. I still feel like that's a missed opportunity to just put a key in the toilet. Okay, I see this one, this path terminates with this spook criteria that we can just walk around and take all her stuff. Mm-hmm. Save what we done. We're moving right along. Ring ring. Hello. It's me. Oh, hello me. I'm me too. What? But if I'm the real me, can I be me too? These ghost states of mind seem to be getting worse the further we, or the further down we go. Fight the Spooketary. Don't belittle me. Eh. It's just gonna make this take longer. We've been leveling up so much that the debuffs just barely matter. Look, she had to like stack them on Zot to even get her down at all. Or like at all substantially. I mean like seven was a lot less than what she was doing before, but still. Mug. A vending machine. One gold. I haven't seen a healing machine on this floor yet. I don't remember if there's an easy access one off to the left there. Eh, get down here. I'm gonna go heal real quick. Hope you don't mind, dear viewer. We're being economic this time around. And we're doing quite well off for it. I'm a little less worried about uh, the game's economy, now that I'm seeing how things are panning out here. But we do have three episodes left to go, so... Kinda looking forward to getting to the new stuff. Like, it's been nice to revisit these things. Particularly Chapter 1, since it's been so long. Over a year at this point for me, but... Like I said, I just did this part last week, and it's just kind of me doing this for completion's sake. Yellow herb. I appreciate the quantity of herbs we've found. Ready to read this one now? Is she still have a comment about it? Oh wow, they actually took out her comments about that particular bookshelf. Why though? <laughs> It seemed so significant. It's like the only reason to go over there, and now there's like literally no reason to go over there. Even though it's so conspicuous. I'm kinda I'm kinda disappointed. It's also really weird though, because like that means they went back and took it out later. Very peculiar. Very peculiar indeed. Here's another hat man. Just kind of sitting around in the middle of the room. Is that a little kid's wagon? Well, I'm not an expert on kids or wagons, but it seems to me. What sort of financial business was this before it all went to hell? I wonder if someone in town would want it. You know someone would. Let's look at that wagon. A little child size wagon. No idea what it's doing here. A bat Abaddon's meat found? Another cell? In other worlds, this would recover all of a player's HP and CP, but here it's useless. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Uh, I want to find a heal machine, but there's no convenient ones. Uh, Alright, well, we'll probably be fine. I mean, ugh, Shooty's not looking too hot, but Zot's in good shape. Maybe we'll get lucky with RNG. 
Oh, wait, I didn't mean to skip all that text. Oh, God, I'm sorry, dear viewer. I wasn't thinking. Eh. Thank goodness I just saved, right? I was totally spacing out. The red water. Why is the water red? I know, I know that I know. I just... I can't remember. Why? Why? Sales Ghost wants to fight. Please don't kill Shooty. He got beat up by somebody. I wasn't really paying attention. Yes, focus on Zot. Good, so far. Legal fees? No! That's okay, we survived. But our odds of surviving decrease more and more the further we go. This is another spooky sad man. They haven't been much trouble, but with Shooty at 359 health... Were there any ghosts between here and the heal machine? I know there's one, like, next to the guy who spills the beans. Yeah, here we go. We're fine. Nothing to worry about. We're gonna go back and deal with that spooky sad man before I forget. It's so dark in here. Why is this office so damned? A statement on a question. I don't understand. Sorry, man. So we can wants to fight. Is depressing. <laughs> well, if he was just going to focus on Zat, then we could have done him earlier. It does seem like they target her more often for no apparent reason. More, more hope embraced. Another widow's lotus. Haven't really needed those yet. But then again, seeing how the item that cures poison did not cure poison last time I tried it, I'm kind of t disinclined to trust them. Fishbone fist. There you go. You're using all your best stuff too, right? Yes, you are. Been chicken? No. Looks like another man. Dusty ledge ball. Here's the guy who tells us the scoop. But we'll talk to him later. What we're gonna do with you first. I'm here for a reason. What was it? Here isn't on this world for a reason? Or isn't here on this very spot for a reason? Neither. Both. How long have I been here? Five weeks? Two days? Help me to recollect. By fighting me. Well, do, business ghost. Stab. These guys just no problem now. Big key. Red herb. Well, hold up. Oh, I guess the big key is the boss key, huh? Eh. Oh, we just love an office key. Big key. The key to the boss door. Yup. Yeah, I guess it still just, like, doesn't take it out of our inventory or something. Ah, oh, finally. Someone I can talk to. It's been so long. So damn long. Oh no, I feel a text dump coming on. You seem to still be holding things together pretty well. For a ghost. I've been trying my best. Just patiently waiting for someone. What happened here? You're the first to actually be self-aware about your... Well, being dead. I was the first. Maybe I was the lucky one. Or maybe I was the unluckiest one. Hard to say for sure. I jumped from the window of that building over there many, many years ago. I spilled some coffee on my shirt before a big meeting, and I guess I snapped. My boss's car broke my fall. Broke my neck, too. Better than hitting the sun passerby, though, I suppose. Dude, bleak. Anyway, I have been hanging around here ever since. Well, but if you died in an unrelated way to everyone else here... Oh, right. So I saw the whole thing. Basically, a long time ago, further back than is even relevant to your lives, there was what we called a stock market crash. A what? Make it smash? The stock market. It was a global economy. It's not important. Anyway, when the market crashed, all of the office workers lost their sole purpose in life. So they all jumped, every last one of them, out the window and onto the pavement below. And not just the stock market team, but the whole business district. Thousands and thousands of people with nothing else to live for 
gone in the blink of an eye. Wait a minute! The Red Sea, the number of dead, was so big the bodies never fully decomposed. It's a sea of meat. People meat. Let me make, ask to make sure I heard that right. Statement not a question. Yeah, it seemed pretty morbid at first, but it's been thousands of years, so whatever, I guess. I can't remember because I had other things to care about. Or I cared about. Though it's been so long, I don't remember what they were. Talking to these other ghosts. Waste of time, if you ask me. We were sent here to exterminate the ghosts of suicide victims. Stop shooting, it feels even worse when you say it out loud. Oh, that's what you're here for. It's about time. I'm ready to move on to whatever's next. I'm sick of this place. It smells like roadkill. Man, today was certainly, or has certainly been a day. I don't know how to feel about it all. You're going to be a better, you're going to a better place. Anywhere is better than here. Coffee Spiller wants to fight. So last time I took this guy really seriously and it turned out to be no problem. So this time I'm not going to take it seriously. We're going to hope it continues to not be a problem. Yeah, see? He was actually just ready to die. Shitty, this is the worst. I think it's almost over. He seemed to be the last one. Did we do the right thing? Is there a right thing? That's the real question. This morally gray area. Yeah, there it is. There's, there's the udder. We go up the sides, get our bonus ooze. 150 help. Not enough to level up, though. Bin chicken? Nah, better. Alright, let's go fight the boss. Without resources. We're gonna try and slap him to death, too. Yes, sir. We're gonna try to get away with it. You. I don't know you. Nope, you certainly don't. Looks like this used to be a pretty fancy office upon, or once upon a time. An office worthy of an executive. Yeah, maybe a couple thousand years ago. Before it filled up with the decomposing bodies of your employees. My employees? Well, I suppose that would explain the awful smell. Wow, this guy comes across, or act across, like a real asshole. Were all of you executive types like this back in the day? Only those of us who were worth a damn. Yikes. None of it matters now. None of it's mattered since he jumped and trashed my car. Oh, hey, we talked to that guy. Did you now? I guess he somehow survived. Nah, he was plenty dead. I won't pretend to understand. It's not important. I'd want to bring my car back. Even if your car did come back, it would be swimming under the sea of meat. Nothing matters now. A life without a nice car is a life worth living or having. Are we expected to believe that you did not have enough money to buy another car? Just curious. Uh, mumbles about something. I couldn't quite catch it in time. Eh. Mumbles about his wife. <laughs> he isn't doing any damage, though. Hmm. Mumbles about his employees. Wow, he just mumbled and grumbled and didn't actually attack. Really strange. Zot picked up the dis and dirty peasant. I hate this. So much. Let's go home. Well, well again, I, we didn't take any damage, so I guess we're good to go. Hold on. Save the game. Oh, you know, hold on a second. No, no, we're good. I want to make sure my settings were where I want it. Alright, I'm sure this can go perfectly fine. Hey, we took care of the ghosts. Yeah, we aren't happy about it. Are you even listening to us? Dun dun dun! Bone Lord Nito is the true boss of the area, probably. Maybe not. We'll try to slap him to death, too. How about that? Unleash the spores. Not the spores again. Is it Spore's Magic? Okay, I guess Spore's Magic is the one that hits both. Missed. Eh. No, stop it. Go down. Oh boy. <laughs> we might not be able to just cheese this. It's seeming like, yeah, he was actually the intended boss of the area. We're gonna die. Yeah, we're dead. Alright, let's go get some resources and we'll deal with him, too. Load! 
gosh. Now I'm wondering if that executive ghost uh, did not attack in the original episode, and I just didn't know because I tried to take him too seriously. Oh, jeez. Mysteries abound. Uh, what do we want for this guy? Or kind of beyond green herbs. Uh, but I don't want to spend a lot of money on these. Let's get a pipe bomb. Just while we've got the funding for it. Maybe let's get two. Let's get two pipe bombs. Um, now let's see. Shotgun ammo costs twice as much, but... Oh, we've actually got seven of these? Hmm. I didn't realize. Well, let's get some fish food. I know I'm going to need some for later, so maybe I just get... Okay, I get some now. Like We're going to want some for the bo extra boss of the area, too. I don't think the townsfolk are going to be too much trouble, since they're like all optional enemies. Yeah, we've got enough to poison uh, both of the dudes. Well, hold on a minute. What is her new skill capable of? The peasants. Let, let someone know where they really stand. Has a 50% chance of confusing the enemy. Costs 11, though. Hmm, but confusion means they turn on themselves, huh? Oh, I think we'll... Hmm. Hmm. All right, tell you what. We'll try to use this on Bone Lord. So, since he's, like, using a lot of poison attacks anyway, we'll see how confusion works on him. Uh, in the meantime, I'll buy a little more fish food. We'll have, we'll get 19 so that we still have poison for the next guy. Not that we can't just buy more stuff afterward. There we go. We've got enough for one shot of each. And if we need to use both against Bone Lord Nito, we can. And I can have Shooty use some of his actual stuff on his fight, too. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Fight, fight. Oh, Lord, Nato. Okay, do I want to use the shotgun ammo on this guy? Let's start with the pistol ammo. And we're gonna, uh, peasant him. And hopefully get that effect. He's confused. He didn't do anything, looks like. Hmm. Poison. I mean, fish food isn't that expensive anymore now that we've got so much money. It didn't take, though, looks like. Wow, that confusion lasted for one turn, looks like. <laughs> huh. Eh. Kinda. Kinda lame, that. It lasted one turn and you didn't do anything with it. Oh, yeah, I'm out of this. Hmm. Well, we took him down nice and easy. Pistol ammo found, shotgun ammo found. Dot level 15. Dude, what the fuck? He had mushroom mushrooms growing out of him. When big fight bros, if... if Forty biceps followed us here. He must have spread spores around. I wonder if anyone else in town is a, or was affected. I wonder who's going to pay us now we killed the client. Oh, well, I guess it's time to go home and let Slim Grim know the job's done. And then we killed his dead cousin. Okay, well. Hmm. Yeah, I don't... Mm, I don't feel like resetting just for the fish food I used. We are going to... Kill all the towns to look after we recover here. Because I don't want to condemn them to a life of being mushroom people. Although it does kind of beg some questions about this game too, because like there's a lot of opportunities to spare things in this chapter. Just by simply not fighting them. Like we I can't get around Vampy here, but he's like the only required combat in town. But, this ain't no Undertale, so I think I am just going to murder everything. I don't know if killing these guys is better or worse than the ghosts. At least these guys don't talk. This poor town. 